proper you to walk it in the front yard so we're gonna do that um, these are galactic star the galactic star that were over here bloomed in the winter the galactic star over here are coming uh, they started blooming the first day of spring um, my minnow that's minnow we'll have to go to the other side to see it and there's my Scylla Peruvia, which has been, which started blooming in the winter and she just slowly opens up and now it's spring, she's still going. Now let's just go over here. Oh my goodness, this is what caught my eye. This is a daffodil called the hoop petticoat. This is the yellow form. It also has a white form, but I really like my daffodils to be um, this cheery yellow color. Look how that just pops. It's just gorgeous and looks great with the Madame Lefebvre. Okay, we have a Madame Lefebvre here. And let's see what other um, daffodils in our little daffodil walkway. You guys, I keep them going. I have forgotten some of the names. I think this is the galactic star that's going over because this was a galactic star too and they are early tulips. Um, that is a uh, freesia, but the, the yellow color of this blends in nice. Let me see. I think this is a double. It's pretty. Yeah, it's a double. Can see the double blooms in there i am a single bloom lover i don't really care for double blooms but i gave it a try you know because i gotta you know not be too old lady-ish i gotta get out of my box and um here's my jonquil here oh that's just gorgeous i think that's pulpit i didn't know it first because it just had one come out, but you can see that the older bloom has turned into this primrose yellow in the center of a light cream color. Oh my goodness, gorgeous, oh my goodness. I would highly recommend pulpit to anybody. Now over here, ironically, they start out yellow and as they look at all those blossoms, one, two, three, for. You know, that's the thing about these smaller ones. Okay, they're not the tallest thing, but in the garden, look at that. They make a really, really nice show, and they're cheaper, <laughs> you know, and you get a longer flower show. You see how the blooms are coming up, and the daffodils came up the first of spring. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Then we have another one back here. You guys, I keep on forgetting what this is. Um, this might be quail. No, this is pulpit. So this is probably quail. Yeah. Because I think I bought minnow, pulpit, and quail. And um, we had three days of water this year. You can see this soil is not tended to. And these daffodils are just enjoying it and making a really good show. So minnow is a tiny one. Pulpit is a bicolor. And quail over here is it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Those are two inch flowers. And you see, if you look at it, there are two flowers coming from that one plant. You look over here. I don't even know. Okay, I guess those are just getting started. But this is, let me see if I can give you. That's what my little walk 
halfway looks like on a first year budget. They'll fill out. And Galactic Stars will give you two blooms when they get a big enough base on them. I'm not, yeah. I was thinking that was more Galactic Stars, but that's Freesia. So let me see if I go from this side, maybe, but you're not going to be able to, they're going to face the sun. So you see, guys, when you're watching those rich, uh, gardening channels where they have a lot of money and a lot of sponsorship they really encourage you to buy a lot of flowers but as you can see I have one two three four five six flowers there and that is a ten foot long split space and my neighbor just complimented me and said it looks really pretty. So, okay, it's not gonna blow you out the water, but you'll still have money in the bank. Oh my goodness, you guys. My geranium is flowering. Oh, I love this geranium so much. And um, she's stingy with the blooms, but she's drought tolerant. She doesn't die back when it if it doesn't rain for years she just acts like it's no big deal and look at those beautiful blooms when you get them it is a salmon colored which is hard to find most geraniums are first of all short they're not big and tall like this one and then the flowers are red so I in fact I can't even find this particular geranium in the store anymore because they got these new hybrids and the hybrids are um, the kind that um, they're short but as you can see I got a lot of real estate here this this got um, four days of rain all winter and with four days of rain everybody came up dug down into the soil and they're doing fine I can't say the same for my um, irises that's one of my irises there you can see they are they are evergreen and that's a problem for me because they want water in the summer and i don't put any water in the summer so um i might have to move my irises someplace else because i'm never gonna put any water here in the summer so the only thing that can be here in the summer has to be a plant that survives with no summer water so that's my tour of my daffodil walkway and I'm very happy to say my neighbor expressed to me what I was praying for. I was praying to bring joy to people during this whole quarantine experience by putting the cheeriest flower I know, which is the daffodil, you know, and I tried the skillet. I'm going to have to move that skillet. This skillet doesn't need summer water. So I'm going to move the skilla over here because um, as you can see it's reaching for sunlight and it can get more sunlight on the other side and it's not that tall. It's only one and a half foot tall. And doesn't it, that blue look so cute with the minnow but it's just not getting enough sun there and I want the plant to grow up tall. Yeah.